Um, so we're in the um, media making workshop at the EMP, right? Okay. It, it, it feels a little formal for me to be at a podium and you guys to be in the audience. So we'll try to we'll try to try to break this down. But I just want to give a sort of a general overview to think about how we can use media making as an effective tool to help our learners get motivated to whatever particular subject area that you happen to be an, an expert in. And I call it learning to film, filming to learn, because I think there's a powerful pedagogy in terms of creating media, creating films, uh, uh, and it's, it's wonderful to see what youth can do and what learners can do once they take up that practice and really dig into it. And so what I wanna do is just go through the process of showing you some things, modeling some of the software, and then having you guys spend the time at lunch to go through the museum to create your own stories. And by the end of the session, you're going to all have created a mini trailer of hopefully what you learned or what you hope to have your learners learn coming out of, out of this session. Now we're going to be moving into the exercise phase of this workshop where you'll be actually using iMovie on the iPad to create a movie and we'll be working in trailer mode. Now keep in mind trailer mode is a template but I think it's a powerful way to scaffold the learning and the goal is to articulate your action idea and then think about and plan the images and videos you want to collect. Then you'll be going throughout the EMP museum to collect those images and videos. Then we'll meet back here in order to edit those images and videos together to create your stories. Hi, I'm Bill Butler. I'm with the Seattle World School and I think my action idea is a museum that explores who we are, where we've been, and where we can go. Definitely I, I would use it. Um, I think one, the framework of the templates uh, give people access to telling a story um, I think once they see it, they, they're going to want to use it. I think it's very, very engaging. And so just basically help give people ideas of things they can do and th say. Hi, my name is Serena Samar. I teach at Garfield High School. And my action idea was basically being inspired to connect creativity to educational outcomes. This is such an awesome place to play. <laughs> um, just having the space to even take the time to create something like this because our days are so crazy and busy that it's, uh, it's a nice little shot in the arm and uh, to be able to, to know that I, I have this inside and that I could bring it hopefully out to my students. Uh, my name is John Affalter. I'm from Garfield High School. One of the things I've been concerned about is, uh, as I've said a couple times, is that uh, what worries me about math is that there's no story in social studies, in language arts, in uh, foreign languages, there's always the presence of a story. But math is pretty cut and dry. And that was what I was trying to do with my little iPad things, is to put a story behind a thinking process that led to a calculation. And so now I'm thinking, OK, especially with some of these formats, uh, if I could assign uh, like something like a, a detective thing where they have to you know, solve a problem and the, and the source of the problem will be a specific math operation and, you know, to put something into it besides just the calcul knowing how to calculate. Wow, really great work on your projects. I love the way that you brought your action ideas to life with images and video. Keep in mind as you develop meaningful media making assignments for your learners, that you can also employ these skills and capabilities to develop innovative ways to make student learning more visible by documenting the process of the learning and then presenting the product of that process.